Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I am going to be testing out a, another foundation for you guys. So I'm going to be doing a review on the Super Camo Foundation from Raw Cosmetics. I literally was so so excited when they sent me the new foundation to try out. Oh my god. I do love their old, their old, it's not old, but like I do love their original superfood infused like foundation. By the way, I will leave a timestamp in the the Google in the description bar if you guys just want to like click ahead to when I actually apply and review the foundation. I'm just gonna kind of talk through like basically the price, like what's like in it, things like that. Basically what it's supposed to do for your skin before I try it out. So it says on their website that the Super Camo foundation retails for $34.90 Nine. I was like 95.99. And you have seven different shades ranging from vanilla to chia. So that's the darkest shade. And I feel like with this, like you can mix and match. The only thing with like natural foundations is that it's hard to get a massive shade range because you are using like natural ingredients. So it's hard to like get different shades. But the selection of seven I think is still really, really good. They have more light to medium tones rather than dark. So I do feel for you guys, like darker skin girls out there, it is probably harder. It is vegan friendly as well, which of course like I'm all about. Like I love that about this brand. So the description basically says it's supposed to be a medium to full coverage foundation that melts onto your skin and is packed with skin loving superfoods, which is pretty cool. On here it says it's infused with coconut water, oh lord, oligolin, in brackets this is flaxseed. Oligolin. I'll put it on the screen because I do not know how to pronounce that. Avocado oil, grapefruit oil, and turmeric extract, which is really good because I know turmeric is supposed to help, like, stop. It's like supposed to be anti inflammatory, so that's probably good for your skin too. Again, back onto the description it's a creamy, blendable formula enriched with hydrating and firming superfoods, and it has oligolin, aka flaxseed, so that's probably a firming superfood, I guess. It's supposed to improve skin hydration and firmness, and it has SPF to protect against the sun damage. So it's got SPF 15 in it. I don't know how I feel about, like, having foundations with already SPF. I know, like, it's good to have sun protection. And I guess if I was wearing this all day, I would prefer to have sun protection. But I just know, like, wearing sunscreen on your skin all the time isn't good for it anyway. That's just my personal opinion. I know it protects against the sun. The sun. I know it protects against the sun, I know that's good in one way, but also it's not good to have those chemicals on your skin in the other hand. But, I mean, you're kind of at a loss of both sides, aren't you? Like, you have to protect your skin, otherwise it, like, has some serious ageing. Oh! It also says it's infused with turmeric to help improve skin clarity and reduce redness, which is pretty cool. This is what I use to match my skin tone to like the new foundation so it has like the new shade range here then it has their old shade range and which one you'd match to and also has like if you're a warm neutral kind of thing to help you if you're not quite sure it also has like a how to on to apply it i won't really go into that i will leave everything linked down below so you can check it out if you would like like the link to their website link to this product link to you know everything basically i'll tell you a couple of the ingredients because girl there is a fair for you I mean, I love this brand because it is super, super natural, but I mean, I, I'm some of these things I'm not quite sure they are. So it has linseed or flax seeds, avocado, grapeseed oil, um, grapefruit, and different things like that. It says it's 41% organic and 44% superfoods, which is pretty cool. They also have reviews and everything on their website too if you would like to check them out. Bring it. I also like their brand because they are like a superfood infused beauty brand, like beauty company. So they are like super, super natural. They don't test on animals and they are like tick of approval by the ACO um, Cosmo Natural thing. I have done a review on the previous um, foundation and a couple of their other like powders and things. If you would like to check that, I'll obviously link that up above as well as down in the description bar. And I do talk a little bit more about the brand, so I won't go into like detail about like what they're about and everything. You guys can check that out yourself. But they are a natural makeup brand if you are interested in that kind of like path. Like I am very interested in more natural beauty brands and like sustainable, environmentally friendly things like like Brie, 
reading. <laughs> I seriously can't talk today. Like beauty brands like that. So if you are kind of similar to me and in, interested in that kind of path, not the typical commercial brands, then yeah, I like this kind of style. Anyway, let's get to like testing it, shall we? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prime the left side of my face and I'm going to leave the right side unprimed and just see like if primer makes a difference throughout the day like with the foundation. So I'm going to go in with my 100% pure mattifying primer full of antioxidants and vitamins. I love this brand as well because they are 100% pure, like they're 100% natural makeup brand and I have done a review on them as well, which I'll leave linked down below if you'd like to check that out too. And I'm literally just applying that, like I said, to the left side of the face. And that would just mattify my skin because I am an oily skin girl. I don't want my oil seeping through since I will be wearing this for at least 10 hours today. I like to have a really long period of time to test it out and see how it wears. So I'm actually going to apply this on with a brush. I th I've been loving the Eeg Show foundation brush. Like, I don't usually use brushes but lately. I usually use my beauty sponge. But honey, this brush is amazing. I'm interested to see if this is actually like a medium to high coverage since the other one is more of like a light to medium coverage I would say. Especially on my skin because I have a lot of blemishes and things. Especially like these breakouts down below. So we'll see how that goes but I mean it says it should be medium to high. We'll see. I'm not sure with these natural makeup brands if you can actually get a medium to high coverage but they say they can so we'll see. Oh! I love that. Oh, it comes in a little pump. Oh my god, I love that so much. I thought it would just be like a little squeeze bottle, but it's actually like a pump. Oh, that is fantastic. It's more sanitary than like the Fit Me one where you just have to shake it onto your finger and it goes back in and you just, you know, cross-contamination and things like that. I'm just going to pump some, like just one pump. Yeah, on the back of my hand. It's quite thick and moussey. It's not runny at all. I love the packaging too, by the way, like turquoise, like this aqua turquoise colour is like my favourite colour in the entire world. And then I love the little wooden style lid, although it's more, like it feels more plasticky, but it has that wooden look to it, it's really cute. I'm just going to spread it over my face with my finger. It is really thick, like really, really thick. I wonder if a beauty sponge would do better. Alright, I'm going to go to town on the unprimed side first and just buff that in. Whoa. I think... They were right when they said it is a, at least medium coverage because it's quite thick. So I guess that's why like it's more moussey whereas their other one's a bit more liquidy. Hence why it's more of a lighter coverage. I mean to be fair it actually is a, like medium coverage 100%. Like 100%. It's just really sticky. Like it's sticky to try and glide across but... I mean, that might be a good thing because it all adheres to the skin really, really well then. Feels quite thick on the skin too, which I don't know how that's going to go for all day. Like, I'm not a fan of, like, wearing foundation if I can feel it just, like, sticky on my skin all day. Like, I don't know if that'll feel comfy or not. We'll see. I can actually kind of smell the SPF in it. That's probably why it's also thicker as well actually now that I'm thinking about it is because it does have sunscreen in it. It's definitely not an overpowering smell but I can subtly smell the SPF in there very subtly. Now that was literally one and a half, not even a half, I'd say like one and a smidge pumps and it's literally covered my whole face plus my neck area but not like heavily. I need to cover these breakouts a bit more and around my nose a little bit more too. So I'm going to put maybe like another smidge of a pump. Like just like a... Like just that much. By the way, I didn't say you also get... You get 30 mils, which is like what you standardly get anyway in any product. And I feel like it's more like travel size friendly. Like you could take this travelling and it would just fit nice and comfortably like into your travel kit. It's just so small and petite, but it still has the amount of product that you, like product that you usually get without like the bulky packaging, you know? So I'm just kind of I'm a little breakouts and things on my skin where I want the coverage to kind of stick. I'm actually just kind of blending around it. Not really over the top. So the colour I feel like matches me pretty well. It's probably a smidge bit dark 
but nothing like too intense like I literally think this will be the perfect match for me in summer when I'm just that little bit more tan but in saying that she's doing a good job it's, like the color match is not too different plus I'm wearing like a high neck today so it doesn't really matter like I love wearing like a more medium to light coverage foundation but if I want to go out clubbing I don't have to use my more commercial like toxin ridden foundations I can wear this natural one and like you know it'd be good to go and she's full coverage so hopefully this like actually works and lasts really really well I didn't read before but it says like here on the back it's 99 natural origin of total so like basically it's 99% natural it's 41% organic and then 44% superfood like it's a 99% natural product which is like really really high I mean $35 for a natural makeup product is so good. Usually they're like $50 or more. So like that is such a reasonable price. Like can you guys just see it just creates such a flawless even coverage on the skin. And it does. I'd say it's medium. I'm not going to build it up too much. I have tried to build it up a little bit. But I still feel like it's more of a medium. It definitely would build up to a full coverage if you kept going. But I don't like having it full full coverage on my skin. Especially for daytime. I think it's too harsh. So it's not covered these two breakouts that well, but it has covered this one really, really well. So this red one is just a tricky one. I'm glad it's under my neck so you can't really see. But she hasn't been covered up too well. Let me see if I can cover it up a bit more. So I guess if you guys have really intense acne, um, you'd need to cover with concealer as well, which I'm going to do now. Or even like those um, colour correctors, I feel like that would play a big part too. So I'm just going to quickly apply the concealer to like under eyes, you know, spot conceal on things. And then I'm going to go over top with their actual like pressed powder in the shade Nude. So I'll be right back having done all that. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I've just gone in and set my skin and everything like I said. And obviously apply the concealer. Oh, just the skin just looks so good, especially in real life. Like, it actually doesn't look like I've got a huge, just, cake face of foundation. It actually looks really natural. And I can't wait to see how it wears throughout the day. Like, I feel like the initial time, like, for me, anyway, when I apply foundation, it's like, oh, yeah, like, it looks like I've got something on my skin. But as it starts to sink in, you know, within a couple hours, like, the first couple hours, and it starts to, like, melt and become one with the skin, it's, like, my favourite time. It just looks so good. So we'll see how that plays out. I'm not going to go in with a setting spray today. I just want to see how it wears by itself throughout the whole day without extra things kind of keeping it in. Hence why I've used like their powder. I know how it works with most of my foundation. So I know, you know, it would be the powder that would be doing something, not like the foundation. So basically guys, as you can see, there's no patchiness. It's not clinging to any dry patches or breakouts. It's just seamlessly sitting over the whole skin. So this is how we're looking at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and like finish, you know, doing my bronzer, highlight and things like that. It's currently 10.49. So it's like 10 to 11. So I'll probably be back at around like 2 or something like that to show you how it's wearing if it's tearing, <laughs> anything like that. So I'll keep you posted. <laughs> By the way, I just wanted to add that even after applying the contour and blush and highlight and everything, it still looks so smooth. Like it hasn't dragged, like nothing's pulled away. There's no coverage that's been taken away. It's still sitting there so flawlessly. It hasn't budged, it hasn't moved. Like with some foundations, I have to say, in the past, like once I've applied bronzer and stuff, it like removes it like the, the foundation hasn't stuck and it just removes so that's just a thought to keep in mind that it, it still stays so flawlessly after everything's on like just so good so good hey guys so i'm back it's currently 2 30 in the afternoon um the foundation's still looking super super good it's definitely worn away here it's like a little pimple or something like that that I've been scratching it so it's kind of worn off just here so I'm a bit disappointed that it has come off here like I haven't really been touching it that much but it has worn away and quite significantly too like it's quite red um but still staying pretty strong on these little breakouts here it hasn't worn off anywhere along here which is where I tend to get a lot of fading 
um, in this area, like around here, especially just because I do touch my face a lot. And the forehead is looking shine free, like grease free, still strong, still full coverage. Hasn't creased, hasn't actually creased anywhere, not even in my smile lines. Like it's actually been sitting so nice on the skin. And it hasn't creased around my nose at all either, which is really, really good. Also, I've been feeling like it isn't caking up on my skin, which is really good. Like it doesn't feel thick and gluggy and like you are wearing a whole lot of foundation. It actually feels really like lightweight. It feels like it's sunk into the skin really nicely. It looks a lot better like I said at the beginning. I always like how foundation looks a few hours in because it does look more like skin and less like makeup. So that's a win. Oop, don't mind the hair. Okay, guys, so I'm back. It is currently 5 p.m. So I didn't wait three hours, but, you know, I waited a fair while. And I just wanted to give you a bit of an update. I'm loving how it hasn't faded around, like, my lips at all. Like, I always, always get fading, especially because, like, like, I bite my lips and everything. And it hasn't, it hasn't, like, faded or gone at all. It's still super, super full coverage. Like I said, it did fade in that spot, but the redness is, like, gone because I'm not scratching at it. So you can't really see it anyways. There's literally still no fading at all. Not at all around my jawline. Like I said, I'm a big face toucher. I'm always touching my face. I'm always scratching at my face. And it hasn't faded. It hasn't gone crusty on my breakouts or anything. This foundation like, has surprised me so much. I did not expect it to be this good. Especially because I've worn it now. So I've worn it from 11 till 5. It's like been 6 hours and it's holding up so well. It still looks like skin. It doesn't look like I've got a big you know, a pile of caking foundation all over my skin. It is slightly kind of starting, just starting to cake around my nose. Ever, ever so slightly, like barely nothing. Has faded a little bit on this blemishes here. The bronzer and everything is still sitting super, super nice on top. Hasn't faded at all around my hairline or my forehead. I'm not creasing. I still haven't got any smile lines which is amazing and it still is holding up over those breakouts along my chin and neck there's not really too much of a difference from the primed and the unprimed side i mean my pores look smaller on the primed side if you guys can see i feel like they look smaller whereas they kind of stand out a little bit more on like the unprimed side but that also might have something to do with like the primer itself but like on my forehead like it's a mattifying primer i feel like oh i mean i guess you can kind of tell there's a little bit of greasiness on this side as opposed to this side where there was a primer like that mattifying primer at the beginning has kind of helped keep my skin a little bit more matte and the, eel the eels <laughs> The oils aren't seeping through as much as this side. I guess I can notice that a little bit. But in saying that, it's not that oily. So I am really happy with how this foundation is going. So fingers crossed, the 8 hour and beyond mark, it does last really, really well. We'll see. Okay guys, so I'm back. It is now currently 9.30pm. So I'm just going to wrap up this foundation um review is what i was trying to think i'm literally so impressed with how it has not faded or like sunk into my smile lines it's barely eventuated into anything around my nose like remember how i was saying um that i was like getting some creasing around my nose well that's like not turned into anything it doesn't look like it's creased at all anymore it hasn't sunk into my forehead lines at all actually it has started to fade around here and a little bit here i think just here yeah so it started to fade a little bit on my breakouts but i mean what's it been like 9 30 it's 11 so it's been like 10 and a half hours me doing math <laughs> but it hasn't sunk in to my pores so it still looks so flawless and so good after like 10 and a half hours or so of just wearing it i haven't touched up with powder i haven't touched up with any foundation 
like none of that and it's lasted so so well i'm so happy with this foundation ah oh, this is my new fave thing honestly i'm 100 wearing this out to clubs and pubs and all local stuff when they open up again i'm so excited or even like i said if you guys are more into like the everyday full glam like a bit more coverage on the skin then this is definitely worth a visit to this is definitely worth a try but that otherwise concludes today's review <laughs> I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you do have any like recommendations of products you would like me to try, please, please let me know down below. Um, if you did like this video, please leave a big thumbs up before you leave. And I hope to see you guys in my next videos. I love you all so, so much. Mwah. Bye, guys.